Ukrainians have slowly been losing the war in Donetsk. They've slowly been pushed back. They've been ground down by this superior, in numbers anyway, Russian army that has slowly pulverized Ukrainian resistance. But what they had was intelligence that Russian troops guarding the border had moved down to the fighting in Donetsk, leaving the border around about Kursk relatively unguarded. What Ukrainian high command wanted to do was basically attack Russia proper, create havoc, and try and draw as many Russian forces back away from Donetsk as possible. As soon as Ukrainian high command realized they were successful, they sent more troops into it. Весь фронт ми не залишаємо без уваги. As Ukrainian forces have entered Belgorod, the governor has ordered an evacuation of some 11,000 people from border villages. Слава Україні! <laughs> The danger is, if Ukraine does want to stay there, what will happen is that they, they will have to commit more forces. And when that happens, Russia will match those forces, if not increase them, and you'll end up with this meat grinder 2.0 happening in the north as well as the east, which is not going to benefit Ukraine in any way, shape or form. But in terms of effect on the main battlefields of Ukraine, the overall military picture, it has had a negligible effect. We're really only talking about a few percent, a few units compared to the main force done in Donetsk, which are like high tens of thousands of troops on each side, battling it away with hundreds of tanks, aircraft, drones, missiles, all the rest of it. And that's where the real fighting is taking place.